is Dr. Hayek and this video is about electrochemistry and today we will talk about concentration cell and the Nernst equation. So far we have described cells under standard conditions. Today we will discuss the dependence of cell potential on concentration. Consider the following redox reaction for a galvanic cell at standard conditions where you have zinc at the anode and copper at the cathode and the standard cell potential is 1.10 volt. According to Le Chatelier's principle, if we increase the concentration of Cu2+, the reaction will favor the forward direction and therefore the cell potential will increase. However, if we increase the concentration of Zn2+, which is a product, the reaction will favor the reverse direction and therefore the cell potential will decrease. A concentration cell is prepared the same way as a galvanic cell. By definition, a cell in which both compartments contain the same component but at different concentrations is called a concentration cell. In the cell described here, the concentrations of nickel in both compartments are 1 molar and 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar. The question now, in which direction will the electrons flow in this cell? The best way to answer this question is to think that nature will recognize to equalize both concentrations in both compartments. Therefore, the electrons will flow from the less concentrated compartment to the more concentrated compartment. If the cell had one molar concentrations in both compartments, the standard cell potential will be equal to zero since both compartments they have the same half equation. So the question now is how can we calculate the cell potential of this concentration cell? Before answering this question, we need to discuss first the Nernst equation. The dependence of the cell potential on concentration results directly from the dependence of free energy on concentration. Recall from thermodynamics, delta G is equal to delta G0 plus RT ln of Q. And we have discussed previously that the change on free energy is equal to minus NFE. And at standard conditions, delta G0 is equal to minus NFE0. The equation then becomes minus NFE cell is equal to minus NFE0 cell plus RT ln of Q. If we divide both sides by minus NF, the equation becomes E cell is equal to E0 cell minus RT divided by NF len of Q. At 25 degrees Celsius, this equation can be modified to give E cell is equal to E0 cell minus 0.0591 divided by N log of Q. The 0.0591 value is coming from replacing R, T, and F by their values. The 2.303 number is coming from conversion of natural log to log base of 10. Using Nernst equation now, we can calculate the cell potential, where Q is equal to the concentration of nickel at the anode divided by the concentration of nickel at the cathode. Replacing these concentrations by their initial values, the 1 molar and the 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar, this will give us the cell potential which is equal to 0.089 volt. At equilibrium, where both concentrations are equal, the cell potential will be equal to 0. Now, in general, the equilibrium constant could be calculated from the nearest equation. We know that at equilibrium, E cell is equal to 0 and Q is equal to K. Replacing these two terms and their values in the nearest equation, we get 0 is equal to E0 cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log of K. Rearranging this expression, we get that k is equal to 10 to the power n multiplied by E0 cell divided by 
0.0591. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.